Nice to really have you. Like, two-year deal, it's good to have that sort of security straight away. Yeah, absolutely. I was um, over the moon when, you know, I was talking with uh, Danny in Perth and um, to be able to come out with a two-year deal, I'm just so stoked and so excited to uh, get going again. What does it do when you knew you were coming on to the main roster anyway, but had the extra year on top of it with the, the, the two years? Um, so you knew you were staying here this year, but to come on to the main roster and have the extra year after that, what does that do for you? Um, I think it just provides, as you said, security and um, being able to uh, make a plan I've uh, been talking with, you know, the strength and conditioning coaches, the physios, and um, we're going to be able to come up with a plan, you know, for me this off-season, first of all, to get my body right, get um, myself into shape um, to be a uh, professional um, in the NBL and uh, contribute to a team. So uh, I think it allows me to come up with a plan of how I can get better and how I can continue to contribute to the team for multiple years, not just one year. What was the role coach for you like last year? You started... Starting as a DP, and then you had times where you weren't playing at all. Like, what, what was the, the challenge in mentally like knowing that sometimes you're a key player, sometimes you're a role player? Yeah, I mean, it was just uh, staying locked in. Um, that was the biggest thing. Obviously, coming in as, as a DP, I wasn't expecting to start the first five games, but um, that just goes to show how good the coaches are, and I am grateful to them for showing the, uh, the um, you know, uh, the confidence in me to be able to come out and contribute straight away. And uh, obviously throughout the year, it was a bit up and down, but as I said, just got to stay locked in and be ready to go whenever your name's called, no matter you know what the situation is, uh, I was ready for my moment and I thought I took those opportunities and you know now I get the opportunity to be, be there every game and you know be willing to uh, play every game and contribute to a team winning a championship because that's the ultimate goal. Uh, I feel um, I've matured a lot. Uh, I've learnt a lot from, you know, Kev and Nordo. They were guys that I really looked up to when I was growing up and uh, being able to learn off them was huge for me last year. Um, obviously, defensively, I, I pride myself on that end of the floor and being able to learn off Nordo, who's one of, you know, the best defenders in this league, uh, just being in positions, being in the right mindset, all those sort of things that I never really thought of when I wasn't a pro, um, just learning the ins and outs of being a great defender. And then um, now I'm going to be able to develop my offensive game to become a, a better player overall. Do you think your defence is one reason why they validated you the, the next two years? Do you think that they look at that and go, that's what we need? And you, you've always been good at it, but that gives this team exactly what it needs. Yeah, well, Perth has always been known for their defence. You know, you've had Damian Martin and obviously Nordo and all these guys that have um, come before me that have, you know, played a huge role in being big defensive guys for a team. And um, for me, I just want to come in and, as I said, you know, bring the energy, bring the defensive tenacity. I think, I think that's a huge part for this team. And for me and Nordo to be there as, you know, the point guards and being able to dog guys all season, I think that's going to be huge for our team. And um, I'm just excited to get better again this year. I think that's the main goal for me. Um, each year, I just want to progress to get better and better. Um, that's all I can really focus on, and the rest will take care of itself. So when you're playing behind Danny Martin, he's come on board and wants to maintain the level that they have put out there. Is that the way you look at it? When Nora comes off and you go on, you want to keep that defensive effort at what he's already put out there? Yeah, for sure. That's something that you know, we've talked about and um, I want to be that guy to be able to come on and not lose any of that intensity that he brings. And I feel like I can be that guy and I'm confident that, you know, as I keep playing more and more games, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get better and better at that. And obviously I've got a long way to go to learn um, positioning and all these other things that I'm trying to get better at with obviously talking to the coaches, talking to Scott, talking to Mike Kelly and Trigg and all that and just being able to um, get better and better with the defence because obviously I've been known to be a defender, but I've got a long ways to go. And did you manage to steal anything from anyone when you're playing for the Boomers? Was there a certain spot that you sort of gravitated towards and probably grab, grab as much intellectual property as you could? Yeah, I mean, Nick Kay is a big one. He was our leader over there and um, just seeing the way he goes about every game, he doesn't treat any game any differently and that just shows a sign of a true professional. And... Um, 
I think that's something that I'm continuing to learn, just the consistency of professionals and the way they go about their day and, you know, keeping their job pretty much. So um, that's something that I really took from him. And he was a great leader for us over there in Japan and just showed us the ropes. And, you know, I took a lot from him um, just being able to be professional. Yeah, just, you know, just want to keep getting better, as I said, stay consistent with it. Um, obviously, there's things that you always need to work on and you're never going to be as good as you think you are. So um, for us to get in here and the coaches to get in and work with us, I think it's been great for me personally, being able to work on my skills, um, on my shooting, because that's something that I really want to focus on, um, just getting that better every, every day. So, yeah, it's exciting. Yeah, 100%. I think it was a great pathway for me. Obviously, I went to college and came back as a DP. And um, the best thing about it was I was able to learn so much. Um, being in, um, you know, sometimes you'd be in scout team and then sometimes you'd be in the starting lineup. It was like, you know, it was a big roller coaster. And I think that's the biggest learning curve is how to control your emotions and control your focus. Um, and so I think it's a great pathway for people. and. Um, obviously, here I've, I've been given amazing opportunities and, as, as I said, credit to the coaches for giving me those opportunities and, you know, having the confidence in me to come out and contribute even when I am a young player and, you know, developing. But, um, yeah, I think it's a great pathway for guys to come through.